so with this version of bmw e39 for me to get to the button of this problem uh, i'm going to test the cluster panel and check if all the pins are in good working order and to do that as you can see my my key is turned to the first position the on position then i'm going to press on this pin until the test functions come up then we go to the second test function and then we initiate the test so you see all the pins are moving and you can see as over there the pin is moving up and down and it's going to do this twice so assuming it was from the cluster function or the cluster panel this pin wouldn't have been able to move up and down but as we can see it's moving so that means we zero it out and go straight to the tank So a little break here, uh, what I did was I used this uh, screwdriver and then a hammer with uh, these propped up edges here, you just put it there and then you knock it counterclockwise. So just like you are loosening it up and then when you want to tighten it up it goes this way. So I'm done with that now. I just got something to plug in the hole here, just in case. Uh, anything else that I want to drop off, I'll drop it. So, take it out the screen, take it out. Then this one lifts up. It's kind of difficult to do it with one hand, but it comes off. Just like that. And this is the four pump. So that's the four pump sitting down there. And then the one causing all this problem is this. Tada! It's a loose, just a loose end. This is the reason why my fuel level is not going higher. That is the reason why. So, what we do is we lift it up and put it back. It's just just a pop in position so we'll get it back in very soon so all we do is is pop it back into this one of these I think the one behind there this one over here is out so this is the one that is out over there so I'm going to fix it and then get back to you that's it over here I retaped this end it had a join there and it wasn't looking good so I retaped it and then this is where I just fixed this one so I popped it back in now it's low it's fixing it back so the trick here is in fixing it back this is the fuel level the fuel gauge from the fuel tanking itself so in order to fix it, what you do is you turn it and let it face the front seat, seat the fuel hose, and then the fastener. It's tightened, not fully tightened. I just want to check my dashboard first to make sure that it's now working. And then this one, this is the 
electrical connection to it so I'm going to fix it just like that now for the moment of truth I'm going to test it to see how it works Voila, there it goes. It's up again. Now it's working perfectly. So what we do now is we just tighten the rest of it and then we are done.